Well, it was an issue before the 90s, and it became a huge issue in Michigan in the in in the 80s and 90s. I mean, go, I mean, going back to the 1950s, um, flight out of um, central cities all over the United States became a huge social issue and a huge economic issue, and it was probably nowhere as extreme as in Detroit uh, for reasons of racism, economic. Um, disinvestment, um, the transition in the auto industry, um, the, um, the, the, the landscape in southeastern Michigan is really defined by, um, by, by, by the sprawl from the sprawl that, that came from Detroit, which was one of the, one of the, one of the largest cities in the country in, in the 1950s, um, to the situation that we have, have today. Um, by the 1990s, um, uh, the, um, the, the, the nature of uh, suburban and exurban development in the um, mo most rural reaches of um, southeastern Michigan was the number one political issue of the day. And it was a huge issue in Washtenaw County, Livingston County, northern Oakland, and northern Macomb County. Um, Ann Arbor had its own form of sprawl, uh, and while the city was um, a, a much smaller job center that, than it is today, um, there was still some um, uh, the, 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 there, there, were, there, was, there was still a lot of um, development happening outside of the city, and it kind of, it, it kind of came to merge with um, uh, a lot of the commuting patterns that uh, people who worked in Detroit uh, were, were, um, uh, were experiencing, and, and where developers were, 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 were building new subdivisions. Um, from the standpoint of um, the environmental community, we were we were worried about the loss of agricultural land, about the loss of great um, uh, ecological spaces and natural areas, and about the uh, disinvestment in livable communities. Uh, and that's what that's what got the Ecology Center and other environmental organizations involved in the issue.